guys, uh, Jonathan, of course, got munitions. And True Exodus. True Exodus. Uh, he, we sponsor True Exodus, and he shoots a lot of our NIMO, has a lot of experience with the NIMO. And uh, can you just tell us how it's a little bit different? So, the reason why I like Force Scott Munitions and I know, or pretty much anything that I shoot, is because I shoot everything. And everything that I shot is where the, the wound cam, or the channels, the, 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 the permanent wound cavity damage, there's nothing out on the market that's like it. And it's as consistent as like it, so that's what I love. I like the 125 uh, subsonic, uh, specifically for sub guns, and I like it for my carry gun. And the reason why is because when you shoot it, you get that amazing recoil impulse. It really doesn't do anything. It just kind of sits there in your hand and pop, 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 and everybody likes that. So we got more control of the gun, means more faster follow-up shots, and more accuracy, more confidence, all these different types of things. And primarily, I think that's just the biggest thing. And then the thing is, it's just an incredible reliability. I mean, the shot close to us. I've done it close to six, I think 60,000 rounds. Somewhere around there, Fort Scott, uh, in total. But with 9 mil, probably about 40,000 rounds. Never had a single issue, not had a single issue, issue with anything. And so I've been incredibly impressed with it. But I've known it and you've shot quite a few different guns. I, I shoot it through everything. So you see, yeah. everyone sends me everything. And yeah, one of the fun things is uh, sub guns. Sub guns are just people are love sub guns. Like that. And so the biggest question is, does it work with sub gun? Right? And so you know, different people have different things, but I I know a few that don't really like the TUI around. But at the same time, they don't like you know, they're very good. But I can't really talk about those things. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's the spiel. That's the Port Scott 9 mil. We have 80 grain, 115 grain, and 125 grain. Barrett's talking about the 125 grain subsonic. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, you can check out uh, Port Scott Munitions on Instagram. You can check out True Exodus on Instagram. You also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, Not Your Average Preach, or just type in True Exodus or Barrett Fobbish on the, right. or on the uh, old uh, search engine there. And, we'll find all the best. and he's done quite a few different ballistic tests. Right? Yeah. And, uh, you've shot through wood, you've shot through car doors, windshields. We've done everything. And yeah. That's, 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 I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up because I completely forgot. Yeah, we took a 2x4, did them test, did all that stuff. It really, because it's not a hollow point, it doesn't expand upon impact, it just keeps going. It keeps that same core jacket. But there's no, well, there's no core. There's just a, sorry, there's just a core. There's no jacket. So there's no core jacket separation. You don't lose mass as it travels through different intermediate barriers, all those different types of things. So it's just a win-win for me. But when I was watching it go through car, uh, car windshields, it's a big one. You know, you get the path of least resistance as you hit that brake in the plane, and those bullets do weird things. But when it hits, when I, when I put a gel block, up against that and it hits it and it goes in and it tumbles it's just it's a seller for me so it will go through a two by four long ways so if you take a two by four put it up it'll go right through if you take it and put it long ways it'll go end to end through four layers of denim and then still spin twice yeah. i've got the yeah. video for it to do so yeah. awesome. and uh, another thing about our ammo with the carbon shields you guys all know that car windshields are slanted, That's so right. when you shoot into those, you have no idea where those bullets are going, right. typically. A lot of hollow points and uh, and other jacketed rounds, they'll go through, but then they'll just, you don't have a clue where they're going, where ours are going to hit that target, and they're going to they're gonna punch right there, just like the 2 by 4 and then still tumble on hits. So if you have somebody in the back seat or, or, or something like that, there's not going to be the collateral damage that you have with some of those. So here's the 9mm. You can see the tip on that, it's different than most of your other 9mm. That's made out of solid copper, they're all CNC machined. Um, these gel blocks here are clear ballistics gel. The first four inches of this gel block actually represents skin. So if you shoot a gel block like this with a BB gun, the BB will go in that first four inches and then it's going to stop. So everything after that point is your damage. So here you see that big bubble, that's when our bullet actually starts to tumble end over end creating that mass in the wound cavity and uh, it'll exit the block dump all the energy and uh, you get extreme wound channels you get amazing accuracy because they're all cnc machine